Soil is the topmost layer of earth crust consisting of weathered rocks, micronutrients, and humus. Humus is a so what the micronutrients are going to be saying? Weathered rocks will be very good particles. Yeah, what particles are dead and decomposed matter of a plants and animals is known as yes, good morning, is known as the is known as the humus organic matter. Which helps due to increasing the fertility of a soil. Soils contains as a such organic matter. These are the more fertile comparatively to others. Alluvial soils are more fertile, which are rich in a nitrogenous content. Statement is true. Rishit Bora, are you Rishit Bora? Yes, Rishit. Why? Why is it less? If you are saying that organic matter is less, what is the reason? सॉरी नेचुरली कमी होती है नहीं आपने Nitrogenous content, the organic matter, वो कम होता है. Mehul, this is our first chapter of our resources. First chapter resources, वही चल रहा है. It's the first chapter of our geography resources, which will be it will be the part of your revision test two. It will be on a Saturday. So soil topmost layer of the earth crust, which is consisting the weathered rocks, organic matter, and the micronutrients, is known as a soil. Soil formation is the slow and steady process. As per the one average one centimeter thicker layer of a soil, it takes the hundreds of the years for its formation. Soil is the only medium in which the plants grow, natural vegetation, bushes, grasslands, and agriculture are uh, are supported by the soils only. If soils it it has use as a judiciary in a planned way, soil will continue to exist as a renewable resource. That properly I'm discussing. it can be as a renewable resource when the soil has used as a judiciously almost of millions of the years they are spent for the formation of a soil amrit pal said properly so different types of a soils are vary from a different other on the basis of the soil the factors affecting as the soil formation first as a very good parent rock the types of a rock different types of a rocks which are disintegrated due to the Erosional and the weathering processes, which leads to formation of a different types of a soil. No, first is the rocks, parent rock. Sedimentary rocks leads to the alluvial soils. Metamorphic rocks leads to the formation of a red and yellow soils. Igneous rocks decompose to which as the black soils are formed. Different types of a rocks are leads to the formation of a different types of a rock. Second are the climatic conditions. You have sunlight. Ra. Sunlight, how? How? How does the sunlight has leads to the formation of a soil? then we have to include under the climatic factor nahi hoga temperature nahi hoga nahi temperature hoga ki nahi hoga temperature expand nahi hoga temperature ke influence se rocks ka surface area expand hota hai process of expansion and contraction leads to the breaking down of rocks so these are the climatic factors areas areas which are receiving as a more rainfall High range of temperature. Range of temperature means I'm just passing. Range of temperature. Ah, uh, the difference is if the range of temperature is a maximum, which leads to the breaking down of a rock. If the areas are are receiving as a more rainfall, more rainfall under such circumstances, a different other categories of a soils are formed. For example, laterite. You can say that the last also. First two rows are the weakened. First two rows are the weakened. Sit, sit at the back. Sit at the back. You can sit at the last also. If you are not comfortable, even you can occupy the so many number of places are there. Clear? Clear, Bora. Occupy it. That's your resource. Your community resource. You can utilize it. Nobody will restrict you. Clear? It's not your. इंडिविजुअल रिसोर्स की आप उस बेंच पे बैठना चाहते हैं सो नेक्स्ट वन 
नेक्स्ट क्लाइमेटिक चेंजेस सो क्लाइमेटिक फैक्टर थर्ड एज द ह्यूमस ऑर्गेनिक मैटर आपने क्या कहा वेदरिंग वेदरिंग उसी में आ जाएगा वेदर ड्रॉप पेर इन ड्रॉप के अंदर ठीक है थर्ड इज ऑर्गेनिक मैटर सॉइल्स विच आर कंटेनिंग एज अ मोर ऑर्गेनिक मैटर नाइट्रोजीनियस कंटेन डीज आर द मोर फर्टाइल कंपेरेटिवली ज्यादा दोस विच आर हैविंग एज अ डेफिशिएंट deficiency of a nitrogenous content it can be as a meek possible for a production through the regular application of a fertilizer timely application of fertilizers and last as the time soil formation is a slow and steady process hundreds of years are spent for a 1 cm thicker layer of a soil which has consisting the micronutrients whether rocks and organic matter so different types of the soils are there which are distributed all over the world all over the world the differences between the soils are basically as a vary on the basis of the chemical composition and the organic changes which takes place in our soils due to as a humidity temperature gases in atmosphere vegetation and microorganisms soils also contains as the organic matter called as a humus which has basically increased in our soils through the decomposition process of our organic matter plants and animals when they decompose and decay in a topmost layer of the earth crust to which as fertility has increases so there are the six of the there are a total number of six soils are there first as alluvial second black soil third red yellow soils fourth as laterite soils fifth forest or mountainous soils sixth arid and desert soils first alluvial soils alluvial soils are formed through the deposition of a sediments along their valleys brought by the rivers basically there are four types of the alluvial soils are present on earth in india bhangar khadar yes amritpal dandeer bas bro mehta koi aur nahi pada tarai pada hua dekho unhone pada hua hai aapne ek aur pada hua hai bhabar b h a n g a r k h a d a r b h a b a r t e r a i tarai so tarai are basically as a wetlands marshy lands wetlands it's going on wetlands tarai is generally lies on a wetlands in which part how many types of the alluvial soils present in the punjab gosamaj josing one type which कौन सी ओल्ड वाली मिलती है बाकी नहीं मिलती टू है कौन सी है एक भांगर है तराई है ओके एच यू तराई नहीं है ये सी अकेली भांगर मिलती है और लास्ट विन बोरा देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ द एलुवियस सॉइल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन ऑल ओवर द इंडिया भाबर खादर भांगर तराई आउट ऑफ दीज फोर हाउ मेनी टाइप्स आर प्रेजेंट इन पंजाब खादर मिलती है तो मैं पहले मीनिंग बता देता हूँ पहले तराई जनरली फाउंड इन वेटलैंड भाबर लाइट्स है ना फुट हिल्स ऑफ द माउंटेन्स व्हेन द रिवर लीव्स द माउंटेन व्हिच हैज कंसिस्टिंग द लेस फर्टाइल सॉइल्स लेस फर्टाइल सॉइल्स तो लेस फर्टाइल सॉइल्स व्हिच आर कंटेनिंग द नोड्यूल्स पेबल्स एंड द बोल्डर्स दीज आर नॉट केपेबल फॉर अ प्रोडक्शन थर्ड एज द भांगर एल्फाबेटिकली बी कम्स एज अ फर्स्ट ओल्डर एल्यूवियम K comes later, newer alluvium. Easy. Khadar and a bhangar, bhangar as a new uh, older alluvium, khadar as a newer alluvium. So out of these four categories, how many types of alluvial soils present in Punjab? Khadar is milti. So there are three types of the alluvial soils are present in a Punjab. Tarai in a south eastern parts of a Punjab, Ropar and Ropar and Patiala, Bhabar has generally found in a parts of a Pathan Kot where the Bias leaves the mountains and enters in plains. Bias leaves the mountains and enters in plains, and rest of the areas. Mehul ji, ham alluvial soil ki baat kar rahe hain, desert soil ki baat nahi kar rahe hain. ठीक है? Alluvial soils which are known as a domat because of its texture. domat alluvial has their four types out of which the three are present in a punjab third is a kya domat ha this is another name and a fourth 
नेक्स्ट एज अ थर्ड टाइप एज न्यूअर एलुवियम खादर खादर भाबर तराई प्रेजेंट इन पंजाब प्रेजेंट इन पंजाब एंड भांगर आर जनरली फाउंड इन डेल्टा पंजाब में डेल्टा नहीं आता ओल्डर एलुवियम्स हाँ जी हाउ मेनी डेल्टा हाउ मेनी रिवर्स मेक्स अ डेल्टा इन इंडिया फोर कैन यू गिव मी द नेम्स Wait, Amrit Pal sir. Afterwards, the one online student will answer. Yes, Bhamputra, Tapi, Tavi. Four done. One more. Five means. Which is the fifth river? Don't violate his fundamental rights. Right, your statement. It's Chari. So let's see. Disha. Disha, raise your hand. Disha, how many rivers makes the deltas? In the deltas, which are consisting as a bhangar soil, the older alluviums, older finer alluviums. Disha, Disha given a correct answer. Very good. So there are basically as a five rivers makes the deltas. Narmada Tapi, Tapi makes the estuaries. Do not makes the deltas. Kaveri, Krishna, Godavari, Mahanadi, and collective sorry ganga they makes the delta in india brahmaputra makes the delta in bangladesh clear so bhangar soils are the more fertile which because of their because of their finer texture because of their finer texture finer material present in a bhangar which has consisting the more fertile and due to as a growth of the vegetation mangroves are grow in a such marshy lands which has capable to increase as a nitrogenous content in a soil nitrogenous content in soils so ha ji old hai khadar new hai delta as mein jo concord aapko plains mein milenge punjab mein milenge River can't carry the conker snow dew till their mouth. Conker to tam milenge if the river carry material for a longer duration. That river which has flow as equivalent to the mean sea level, it can't carry the material. It will only carry such material which has dissolved in a river water. So finer materials. Snow dews are generally found in a plains of a Punjab. So alluvial soils, they are having acid. they are the rich in a potash lime and a phosphoric acid but the deficiency of nitrogenous content nitrogenous content so they tend to the alkaline in a arid regions alluvial soils they are becomes as a alkaline in a arid regions arid regions of punjab are amritpal can you give me the names of a districts which are lies in a arid regions of punjab very good nahi hai wo to pehle hi bataya tarai hai wetlands mein aata hai वेटलैंड्स में एरिड एरियाज होंगे डेजर्ट डेजर्ट भी है वेटलैंड भी है मार्शी लैंड भी है नो साउथ वेस्ट ऑफ पंजाब बठिंडा मानसा मोगा फरीदकोट मुक्सर अबोहर फाजिलका दीज आर द एरिड एरियाज डेजर्ट एरियाज डेजर्ट एक्सपेंडिंग इन दीज एरिया ड्यू टू एज एक्सेसिव डिफॉरेस्टेशन एंड हाउ कैन बी सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अ डी सॉरी डेजर्टिफिकेशन इन दीज एरिया वेरी गुड fertilizers is a short term effort we have we have to emphasize over a shelter belts we have to grow the trees at the margins of a deserts through which the deserts will not expand so next soil till alluvial soils any questions till alluvial soils any questions nobody next black soils black soils are a darker in texture they are known as a regur r e g u r r e g u r they are known as a regur black soils are formed when the basaltic igneous rocks they are these are decomposed due to as a these are decomposed due to the erosion and weathering basaltic igneous rocks disintegrated into the smaller particles which leads to the formation of a black soils such black soils which are a suitable for a production of a cotton production of cotton so alluvial soils are suitable for a production of kamal hai except wheat 
except wheat and corn. Bajra favorable for the deserts. Alluvial soils favorable for the production of sugar cane, best produced in a black soil regions. Rice requires the clay soils. Punjab soils can't retain water for a longer duration. Uske current possibility is otherwise we can't produce as a rice in Punjab. Artificial irrigation makes possibility. Soils of Punjab are not suitable for production of a rice. So which crop is suitable for production of a rice? Sorry, production. Mountainous. Which crop is suitable for uh, alluvial? Maize, very good. Any other? But maize be uh, less rainfall, rainfed area. Any other? Very good. Mustard. Another very good. Peas. Pulses also very good. Excellent boys. So five students are sitting here. Clear mehul. Got it. Next one. Black soils. Black soils, they are become as a sticky. In such areas where the more rainfall has records. They are sticky in nature. And those areas of a black soil regions, which are receiving as a less rainfall, they are generally has experienced a soil aeration. Cracks are appeared on a surface of the earth crust. Cracks appeared on a surface of the earth crust in a black soil regions. That process is known as a soil aeration. A E R A T I O N. Windward sites of the Western Ghats has experienced the sticky nature of a black soil, and the leeward sites of a black soil, leeward sites of a Western Ghats has experienced the soil aeration processes. Soil aeration. So most of the black soil has distributed among the Deccan Trap regions of Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, and parts of Tamil Nadu. Parts of Tamil Nadu. It is very fine or a clay in nature. Black soils are a clay in nature. Black soils are clay in nature, which are rich in a iron, lime, magnesium, and potash. Iron, lime, magnesium, and potash. These soils are rich in a, these micronutrients, micronutrients, but due to as a distribution and a rain, distribution of a rain, black soils, they are facing as a deficiency of a nitrogenous content. In windward sites of a Western Ghats experience the more nitrogenous content because of more rain, more rain. What kind of a vegetation has grows in areas more than the 200 centimeters annual rainfall? Shantanu. Amritpal, wake up. Yeah. What kind of the vegetation has generally grow in an area receiving the more than 200 centimeters annual rainfall? Rice. Rice is a vegetation. This is a new natural vegetation. Tea. Tea is a vegetation. Tea is a vegetation. My natural vegetation. What it means natural vegetation? When plants are grow without human interference. The tea, human interference is not happening. You have Answer. Which kind of vegetation has generally grows in areas receiving the more than 200 centimeters? It helps to increase the humus content in a soil. The type of a vegetation. For online students are there. Jaya Dhingra. Jaya Dhingra. Class expected answer from you. Jaya 